Hello chess friends, this is Video Master Werder Luf. And in our lecture today, I'm going to present you a very interesting lecture on the planning in chess. So I want to tell you exactly how you should think about planning and what kind of ideas you can promote when you're playing on a chess board. So basically, the first thing that I want to tell you is that the planning is the most important thing in chess, as well as every other area of the art. So if you don't really know how to plan, you're gonna just play move by move and not really have any clear direction where you're going. However, in chess, there are simple formulas that uh, can help us to build up a good plan still fr from the beginning. And certainly, if we know them, it won't present any difficulty to exercise on that kind of method of planning and certainly to introduced it in our own games. So I want to show you as an example of really great planning a classical chess game played by Alexander Alekhine, one of the um, Russians most important and of course great names in the history of chess. And his opponent, the Hungarian chess master Astalos. So this game was played in the Ketchkemet International Tournament in 1927 and Alekhine had white spaces. So let's see his planning and ideas in this game. First he started with the move of knight f3. So that's the so-called um, kingside knight opening. And white's main idea is uh, actually to keep flexibility of his development. So now he can go either with the so-called uh, King's Indian attack, which happens to be after g3, bishop g2, then white plays pawn up to d3 and castles, uh, intending furthermore to play something like pawn up to e4, or white is actually in intending to play the move pawn up to d4 with a plan then to bring up his uh, light square bishop to f4 or maybe to g5, having some good prospects in the center. So that's of course very interesting approach, uh, however what you have to know is that uh, knight f4 also allows white to go in different uh, structures, for example like in the English opening with c4. So for this reason the most active move for black always happens to be d5. Now white goes with the move pawn up to c4 and uh, actually white transposes in this game with into the Reti opening. So after c4 we have the Reti opening. Black played the move pawn up to e6, of course supporting the pawn on uh, the d5 square and certainly now white decided to play the move pawn to d4. So from different transpositions we got the normal position of Queen's Gambit declined. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.